going on guys? It's me, Train Man, and welcome to the thingy of the thingy. And let's play Locomotion. Oh, yes. Normally I'm a bit clicker with the... the... Uh, quicker with the clicking, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm quicker with the clicking, I'm clicker with the quicking. And I am almost at 500 subscribers, which means I will owe you one... Wow, really? Come on, don't do that to me. I will owe you oon. One. That is just uno. Uh, episode of... Uh, by episode, I mean story. Of the zombie train. Which is... Not quite coming along at the moment. I sidetracked it because I had to work on other projects. Mostly stuff for college and... I like college application stuff and school projects, so I'll get right back on that when I can. I'm sure anyone out there who is currently going through or has ever been through high school knows what I mean. Especially this time of senior year, you start getting it too. Um, wait, where are you going? You're lost. Go home, train your drunk! I guess you're full too. There you are. Oh well, no, no saving you now. Um... I'm gonna take him home because he's drunk. So whatever I was saying, I've been working on... I've been working on it sparingly when I can, and um... I've just been a tidbit busy lately. But that'll all clear up soon enough, hopefully, and I'll be able to get right back into... The, the working on stuff department of my life. I guess that's kind of what I mean. Do we happen to have any... Well, we have you who's going the wrong way. What route are you... Five. How can you screw that up? It's right there. Let's try that a third time. Kind of sell the troll trains now because I'm getting tired of them. They don't need to keep existing. Originally, the new intro was going to involve the troll trains, but, um, like, extreme troll training. But I, uh, I kind of stopped that after I realized it wasn't going to be as funny as I hoped it would. And, I mean, the base cannon wasn't really that funny either, it, as it turned out to be. Originally, the base cannon was supposed to have way more moving parts. And I think this is a good time to note that... I do actually have a the making of video, and it's not really a the making of video, it's just the whole raw footage I took um, when I was working on that, that, that thing. And that includes like the whole process of me designing the thing and me uh, just kind of just fiddling with it and getting it right and doing the shots, not doing the shots like, you know. SHOTS! You know what I mean. Um... Tell me that this got some... Yeah. DOING THE SHOTS! <laughs> Eventually we'll have a decent flow through here. Um, what I think I should actually work off to... Work off? <laughs> working off. I'm working off. Um... What I think I should actually work on today is the, the what, what is it called? The Knockwell Cutoff. Is it Knockwell? Where is Knockwell? Oh, Knockwell's over there. This'll be the, the Netherhall Cutoff. And it's a stretch track that's gonna go through these mountains first and foremost, so let's do that. Um... 
Where the tunnel is going to be, however, is kind of another matter. Uh, considering how strangely this area is just kind of... Just how strangely it is. Just how strangely it is? Really? Just how strange it is. Um, it becomes a little weird to try and design a rail line through it. Although... So we'd come from here, go this way. Probably go straight this way, over, around, and down. Maybe I could still use this main line, but I wouldn't want to really uh, put too much time and effort into doing it. I might use this main line for like little scrap trains or something, or mixed trains, or what have you. But I think a lot of the things are going to have their own lines from... Not from now on, but certainly stuff like this is going to. many auto parts do you have now? A lot. Um, oh wow, we're gonna we're gonna hit it right now, aren't we? Alright, come on. Second slot, I'll bet. Because they take the shortest route. I think. I'm not really sure how the coding here works, but it works ish, usually. And of course, we're gonna leave some behind, which is gonna knock this rating down. But then we're gonna be sitting here for another 30 years, so it doesn't really matter. I've never seen this guy go before. Don't ask me why that section is necessary, it just is. We just delivered the first set of things. Wait a minute, I just had an idea. I mean, maybe not a great idea, but I had an idea. Yep, there we go, victory. Um, not quite victory, but it's nice. It's a good, good thing to happen. As much as I like shoreline, water level routes and stuff, this definitely isn't going to work as well as I want it to if I don't stuff it in a tunnel. So with that in mind, I'm going to do that. Now, I'm not revealing entirely what I want to do here in case I have to cut it off in the middle and say it's a miserable failure. And I just miserably failed anyways. And click us forwards in this direction. 
Make it so. Something's been bringing up, like, Star Trek references in my head for whatever reason. I'm not sure what. I mean, it might have been the... The X-Bone commercial, the, the one that... I think it's the first one they've come out with. I was gonna say the one that just came out. But the only one. Um... The X-Bone commercial... Uh, with the Titanfall stuff, and the... The, the one with the empty chairs, basically, or the Spock beaming onto the platform, and, uh, the... I say empty chairs, it makes it really sound really anticlimactic, and I know I'm an Xbox fanboy, but seriously, this was a great commercial. Um, and I'm not gonna say the PlayStation ones were bad, because the PlayStation ones were awesome, too. Um, it's something that everyone else seems to excel at and Microsoft doesn't, which is called marketing. Um, that kind of ruins the look of the bridge, though, doesn't it? Hold on, this may be the miserable failure part. Oh, it might be. Oh, that would suck if it's true. This has... Wow! Wow, holy cow, I care! <laughs> you know what, let's just see where this comes out. I have money to go. I have cash to burn. And I know I click agonizingly slowly, I'm sorry hope I miss it by, you know, that much. Ah, missed it by that freaking much? Not that much. That's not what I wanted. That's upsetting. Um, crap, how can we, how can we remedy this? Alright, so this is the line going outbound. So it can actually meet over here. Yeah, that works. Let's just turn this guy that way. No, it doesn't! There, are you happy now? See how much bridge we needed for that? Okay, so I'm gonna spend lots of time making pretty now. Like, I'm gonna make culverts and things to put these tracks in. I know it's gonna suck and it's gonna take lots of time, but there's no... It's gonna take even more time when I screw up like that. Um... There's no, um... I know there's a tool in the scenario editor, I was gonna call it the surveyor editor. But it's called the scenario editor. Um, there's a tool in the scenario editor that lets you move, like, whole chunks of land to make mountains and crap, to make, like, smooth edges and stuff. There's nothing like that in, in the, um, in the, in the, like, default, you're playing the game mode, which really sucks, because I want to make smooth things and not have it cost crap tons of money, like it is now. And by crap tons, I just mean more than what it would if I wasn't doing it this way. Um, and I can go in there. Good. And we're gonna have to do that because the track work just won't line up. Alright, so that's inbound. Oh no, that's outbound. So that's when the trains are leaving. Uh, inbound, we can... We'll work on that in just a second. Or maybe we can do a little crossover shenanigans. 
over here and have the inbound and outbound be reversed. If that's true, then I need to fix this. Um, you know, over there is kind of up in flux. Consider. What's going on over here? Did we cause another enormous traffic jam again? Yeah, you have. Friggin' moron. Um, let's check our trains right now, actually, because I have a feeling that a lot of them are in the in the red. Yeah, they definitely are. This is one of them. Good, we can fix this right now. And there's the other one. And I can't see anything because of all these windows. Pop-ups! Oh my god! Ah, ah, I can't see. And you're going the wrong way too, Jesus. These guys forget where they're going. That's the worst part about the waypoint system in this game. Waypoints work great. But the bad thing about them is that the trains forget what waypoint they're going to when they break down. So us breaking down essentially makes them useless because then they go the wrong way and then they can't continue following the generics, they don't know what to do. Um, another one waiting. Let's grab this guy. Go. Oh, you're one of these guys. Okay, these Jeep 40s. these were the right ones. I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume they are, because they said GP40s. And they're the right company. Which is me, by the way. Um, right, we're almost at here. Well, we really have quite a few to do, but I'm gonna, just gonna go up to 55. Again, this is the point of the game where this kind of stuff gets prohibitive, so you want to, like, make as large of trains as possible that do as much as possible so you don't have a bunch of trains that, uh, aren't doing their work effectively. It's Jeep 15s. Also, at the moment, where profits are kind of expendable now, so I don't need to worry about necessarily waiting until the train is empty to, to do something. You're broken as well, you're empty, right? Stop before the signal so you don't get in the way. Oh, well, you won't, anyways. Um. And you're waiting right there for me to pick up. Good. All set. Again, if there's a mod out there that will replace your engines for you, I don't want a mod that makes them not break down because that's not that's altering the game. But I want one so that you're Trains are less maintenance in that they just fix themselves. They, when their engine gets below a certain point that you could, I guess, like, set in the config file or something, uh, it buys a new version of that exact engine, if possible. 
Um, I mean, that's that's what I kind of hope. Oh crap! Hold up! Stop! Cease! No! Don't load! Don't load! Don't load! Stop! 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 stop. Pick up. grab the engine for this guy before he gets in the way too much. Go! 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 And then these two and then we're all set. So you are already empty. SD60. Grab him. And you, I'm just gonna place you right, right off the, right out, right out of the box. I don't know why I keep Xing out this window and opening it again. I know I don't need to. Um, click, go to it, start it. I don't know why I went to it. Ugh. All right. Alright, so we're working on the cutoff. Right, let's uh, get back to that. You know, I just thought of an interesting station concept. And I might use it in the future. Not may, probably not on this map, but with, maybe on the next one I'll, I'll use it because I mean, this map is kind of irrelevant now the way I've built stuff. But um, it's true that it could be useful in the future. Go away. Go away, road. Go away, road. There you go. Um. I love the fact that we have the one little engine with one car. Um, Alright, idea. If this guy ends up being the inbound track, the inbound quack, um, We can have him instead of. Hmm. I mean, it's really quite simple what we need to do. We kill the Batman. No. Um. <laughs> Sorry. Kill the Batman. Uh. All I know is that we're gonna have bridges here. And here. Um. We're going to have this double bridge here. Of course, not this long. I don't know why I made it this long. I'm just very, very off today. Um, I think I just got it. Hold on. I need to knock... This area kind of already had cliffs, so I'm not too worried about doing this. this area, however, although this area, however, hmm, so I'm not right, but that sounds, although this area did not have cliffs, so let me remedy that, blah, blah, smartness, there, 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 um, I don't think, I was doing that at some party, oh, no, no, I'm sorry, I was doing it at lunch the other day with my friends, um, <laughs> I, I remember talking, for whatever reason we were talking about Pokemon, I'm not a Pokemon guy, but for whatever reason they got me, they were talking about it, and then I started talking about it, you know, just like, because people are talking about something going on, and 
for whatever reason, I interjected that I can't wait until they start bringing... Like, they were talking about how they had so many new Pokemon, blah, 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 they like the da, da, da. Like, you know, you know, whatever. Whatever people talk about with Pokemon. Um, Brokemon. Hashtag. You know what? That wasn't necessary at all. Did anyone just notice that that wasn't necessary at all? Because when I bring them over here, it's not going to matter? Gee, Ellis, you're a genius. Um... That's what I'm going to tell myself all day. Um, alright, alright, alright. We're going to get across this section of land here with a little, little, little arch bridge. Back it up one. No, not... Not that either. What these? Okay. Um... But I was saying, how long until, or I can't wait until they start making cameo, they start making Pokemon cameos from other games, like, and then I had a very portal-minded friend sitting next to me, so I said, a turret Pokemon. And then I just started quoting it. Instead of saying its name, it would say the little turret lines, like, I don't blame you, no hard feelings. Wow! Wow! This is splendid! I can't wait to... Wow! Shut up. SD90 Mac. Mac. Simum power. All the hype. I just made stuff so much harder for myself. Wait, no it didn't. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was my, that was my, wait, tick, 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 done. Figured it out. Um, Alright, so we're continuing to play signals, and this guy is going to be the inbound, that guy the outbound. And so they go into the tunnel, and... Never put signals in a tunnel. Make your life easy. Although in this case, which such... with... which... with such a long tunnel, that could come an issue. Um... Alright, so now I have the inbound being that one, and the inbound is actually that one, or outbound. Is actually that one, so I'm gonna bring this up here and connect it. You'd think it would make a different noise when it's underground. Nope. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Now I can use this track for the inbound. Eventually, I will put signals in these tunnels if jamming becomes an issue, like traffic jams becomes an issue, or become an issue. But for now, I am going to strictly avoid it. Because I don't want to have trains stopped in tunnels, I don't want to have uh, signals that have to be replaced in tunnels. We already had one that I had to change around, and I ended up just getting rid of it because it was too much of a hassle. Um, that's a good looking tunnel entrance right there. That's like the wife of hell. Um... Alright, alright. So I think we can get these guys rolling on the new path now that I've got this all... Oh! Okay, they're doing it already. You know what, let me just wipe your schedule. Is there an easy way to wipe the schedule? I don't know, but I'm just gonna do it this way. Um... Alright, so, you're 
gonna go there and unload all plastic pellets. And then you're gonna come back. Baby, come back! Through there. And then obviously through there, you... I mean, you have to... I do have to pick that, or else they won't know. Um... But then I have to go through there. Through there. And I think actually that's it. Because then they'll come out and they'll be all set. Um, so then they'll come back here and they'll go here. And they'll wait for a full load of plastic pellets. And then they'll come back using this. Seven. Um, the rest of it is actually all merging routes. Yeah, that's actually fine. And now I need the other the other plastic melt strings to follow suit. Click on you. I know your schedule now it needs to be fixed. Click. And you're all set. And I know there's another one on its way somewhere, there is. This, I think that's all three of them, because they've been a little bit screwed up in terms of their scheduling and things. You're all good, you're all good. Um... Now the only thing is I need to connect up this route and this route to make my life easier. I would break off these, but it actually won't make this any simpler, because you'll still have this intersection here. I have no idea when I started this. And also, I don't- oh, I have my watch on. Right! Genius again! I don't know what time it is. That guy's obviously gonna go ahead of him. Then he's gonna cross that way. And then he's gonna go and then he's gonna pull in and then this guy's gonna finally leave. And then finally you're getting back here. And we're gonna probably see the ones following him pretty soon. that they made it so you can hear trains underground. Um, and so my solution is to have this guy wrap around and come over here. Let me just do this. While I'm here, I'm going to get some stuff done. It may not be particularly pertinent to these these guys because they're brand new and they may not know their routes so well, but it's going to be much better for me in the long run to have these connections in place. That's a signal in a tunnel. No! Ah, oh, see what I mean? See what I mean? What? There we go. Um, ah, oh, there are signals in those tunnels. Wait a cotton picking minute. That's not the right place. I did make things slightly harder for myself, but fortunately they aren't that bad. Um. Let me lift that like that, let me do that, and 
that. And then I can bring this guy. That's the, oh, the right way. The signal that's like that. And then for this, I'm just going to have a spiral down, but I don't feel like putting the engineering into that right now. But I do feel like stuff coming from here, whatever that may be, may want to detour through this tunnel. Eventually. When it becomes when it becomes useful, I will be happy. If it doesn't ever become useful, that's okay. It's not like I spent my life savings on it. You might want to turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Again with the Star Trek. Um. Yeah. All right. You're all set. Let's just check this one more time and then I will cut the video because I'm pretty sure we're, we've run long enough. serious speed record on his hands. Alright, let's toss out the Kool-Aid. Oh no! It's gonna... No oh, they're, they've gone extinct, haven't they? Oh well. Oh no, I'm sorry. I just scrolled by them. Here we are. Oh yeah! Let's fix your engines while you're while you're in a good spot to do it. Walking the rest of the trains. And yours while you're right here. Go. Who else? You? You're waiting. How long do you have to wait? Give a long time. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna fix you sitting right here. He's trained too. No way, he's trained too. How did he end up with that? Train? Maybe train too, but he's pretty far from the second train I ever built. That one, there's a little Elko there, and you're about to drop your cargo, so that's good. Wow! Hey, go away! Go away! Get out of the way! What kind of engine that was now? What engine did this guy have? Oh, that one. Oh, I'm staring at it. Go! And you have the same engine. Although steel is a commodity that I don't want to waste. I don't want to waste. Time is also a commodity. Time is also a commodity that I don't want to waste. So let's just set your schedule back. Wood is not a command that you are too much about. It's wood. Um, you know what engine was? Oh, there was this guy. SD6. 
360. You know what, on that let me check my trams too, because they've been around a while. Ah, that's alright. That guy sale is 270% reliability. And there he goes into the never ending tunnel. Oh, I remember that. Oh, I remember the, the iron ore was a really, really nice engine. Let me check that out now. Before this episode ends. Alright, so we got the Genesis locomotive. Uh, we got this guy, which is a nice, he's a fast engine. And we have this guy, the AC6000, uh, who has over 6,000 horsepower, um, which is a really, really mean looking engine. The, yeah, this thing doesn't even compare, it's the same size. What is the AU? What BHP? What does any of this do? Who does this belong to? Is my question. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll be back with you next week. Check on you. Wow, you gotta... Alright. Last in 1995, which wasn't too long ago, so I'm pretty sure... Yeah, alright. Uh, he's doing alright. Alright. Save the game. Replace the file. I notice I roll farther and farther from the mic as the episode goes on. So I'm sorry when I get quieter and quieter, but I don't think there's anything I can really do to keep myself from doing it. And I'm sorry to say that no, I don't have the base cannon to fire. It was built on this map, and then the map was not saved. So I just have the old oops. And, uh... Yeah, I'll just be with you guys. May the force be with you. Also, 